So I'm here at Mark's Auto and Truck. I just want to show you. I mean, talk about the Green New Deal. Uh, this is uh, this is critical to our community. Um, people bring all kinds of scrap metal here to, to be recycled. Uh, old cars. Uh, uh, it's an incredible service uh, for the community. Um, I'm just down from the Santos Trail, and uh, and that's what I do. I come here and then I go up to the Santos Trail and go for a bike ride or walk the dog or whatever. I'm going to walk the dog today because I I'm pretty beat up from a bike ride yesterday. But I just kind of wanted to show you this. Uh, it, well, it's the sheriff station, and then you got the dollar. The where I mark it with is the Dollar General is right across the street. Um, and this and so what I do is I bring my aluminum cans here. And uh, I just recycle them because, you know, I don't want to put them out in the recycle bin. I bought a can crusher. Uh, so, you know, let's get the guys at work here. Here they are. Uh, you can see it got some wire coming in. I mean, you know, it's uh, batteries over here. They take batteries. Uh, this place is outstanding. Uh, let's, let's get, uh, let's, oh, sorry. Try not, to, try not to get faces on the video here, but uh, you can look out here. Now, this is where, you know, I just dump my aluminum cans in here. Now, unfortunately, the regulations, you got to bring your car up through here, and they got to get the license plate and all that bull crap. But, I mean, I understand. I mean, up in Detroit, when they used to rip the uh, wires out of houses and stuff just to make a profit. Or, or, hell, my neighbor had, they, they chopped his air conditioner off to it. <laughs> to recycle that so you never know you never know what people are going to do to recycle and so they got to kind of regulate it just a little bit so let's go get a video and, and talk about the business so i can't believe it mark's auto and truck recycling has decided they'll help me do a video here i just want the community to know that this place exists uh, all you people in the villages that watch my videos uh, i'm just going to let them tell you about it they had a uh, fire uh, not too long ago. I'm hoping he'll talk about that just a little bit and what the business went through. I bet it was uh, difficult for them. Um, but you can see you can bring your aluminum cans here. That's what I do. But you can also bring scrap metal, uh, any appliances, right? I mean, just, just tell us about the business. Appliances, uh, any fictitious metals, any metals, uh, copper, brass, aluminum. Uh, you have siding. You bring batteries, recycle batteries. You're only allowed to bring two due to county regulations. Um, you could also scrap vehicles here. Um, we take okay. all metals, all metals at all. Everything that you can look to recycle. It's better yeah. for the environment to recycle it. Other yeah, you guys are, I mean, you're like the Green New Deal here, you know? I mean, yes. this is, it's freaking great that you guys are here. Yes. So yeah, keep going, hi. Um, as you can see, we take copper wiring. Um, we did have a fire in this building about a year ago. Um, it was a, a long process in getting our new building due to new regulations because the building was here since the, I believe since the 60s, this building was here. Um, we had an electrical fire, we rebuilt it and we started out with a fresh new building and tried to get everything more high tech. I tell you what, uh, now, and <clears throat> just so people know, they were telling me, even for my cans, I have to come in here because you got to scan my license plate. Is that right? And yes, we have yeah. to get license plate. You have to have an ID. We yeah. have to see. Um, Imagine that, an ID. I mean, you don't have to vote with an ID, but you have to have an ID to recycle yes, scrap you metal. Have to have an ID I tell you, those Democrats are crazy. I did. I tell you what. All right, look. So no ID to vote, but you got to have an ID to scrap, scrap metal. metal. Yes, all right, all right yes. there you go. So um, let's do the regulations with the county. They need to know if anything came up stolen. They know how we can track down who the person yeah. is that scrapped the metals. Yeah, I, I'll tell you at the beginning of the video, I was going on. I, you know, because I'm from Detroit, yeah. and uh, they were they were ripping copper wiring out of the houses. And yes. uh, my neighbor, they actually cut his air conditioner in half, and and they I guess they scrapped it because back up. You know, they didn't have any regulations in Detroit, so they they would just they would take any metal they could find. You yes, know, so on house units there are strong regulations with house unit aces. Anybody cannot just bring a house unit here and scrap it due to regulations. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's understandable in a way. As much as I hate the the, the boot 
of the uh, of the government in, in every facet of our lives. You know, I mean, for aluminum cans, I don't even understand why they're regulating that. I mean, what are you going to do? Steal an aluminum can? You know, I mean, that's well, just, it know, seems people, ridiculous. People do things, you know, differently. I mean, you know, as long as you have an ID, you can come down, you can scrap, you can recycle it, and it doesn't end up in the landfill. All right, all right. So I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm here. You know, if you're in the villages or you're in Del Webb or uh, wherever, I mean, if you got aluminum cans, I, you know, I don't think putting them out in the recycle bin is the way you, to go. I think if you really care about the environment and you care about things, you should bring them here. Yes, they need to be recycled other than bringing them to the, fill up the landfill. All right, so let's finish off the video. Tell them the name of the business, where you guys are located, what your address is. And we'll finish off the video there. We're at Mark's Auto and Truck Recycling. We're at 7125 South Pine Avenue, Ocala, Florida, 34480. Phone number here is 352-732-2221. All right, you guys got that? Hey, bring your scrap metal here, get a little bit of money, and save the world. So we're here at the uh, Santos Trail. Just thought I'd exploit the dog. If I can get him to move. He, <laughs> he wants to sniff every gosh dang thing. Uh, there he goes, there he goes. Come on, boo, let's go. Uh, anyway, that was great of them guys to make that video. Um, you know, I think a lot of people in the community, they don't even know that these scrap metal places exist. Uh, that's the closest one to me, but I mean, it's, there's probably one near you. Uh, I think it's very important for us all to become a little bit more environmentally conscious and uh, I couldn't believe they made the video of course <laughs> trying to get the dog to move come on dummy let's go so but anyway uh, um, I guess uh, that's that'll finish off this video I uh, just wanted to make a quick one because I had to go there anyway to recycle all my aluminum cans and uh, you know you put them out in those recycle bins you just don't know where that stuff ends up i mean i bet a lot of it just goes to the dump you know i know that uh you know it, you know because you always got some idiot that'll put something contaminated in those recycle bins and uh and then they from what i understand the whole load just goes to the dump at that point um so you, you know you never know uh, uh what's going to happen but anyway you guys uh peace out and stay free Oh, you know what? I I know every time I th do you think the video is over, that idiot cybersecurity guy uh, he wants to tack on something. Um, the guy back there, uh, it turns out he's a YouTuber himself, and uh, he's got drones and uh, the whole deal. And uh, you know, I've been I've been wanting to pull the trigger on the GoPro nine. Uh, evidently, they just came out with what's called a 360 lens. Um, so maybe, uh, you know, I'll look into it when I get home today and, uh, we might get a little more professional on these videos, you know, I, I, uh, I've been studying the DaVinci, uh, editing software. It's, uh, it's a work in progress. Um, you know, you only have so much time and, uh, hell, just making the video <laughs> is brutal, you know, cause I try to, I try to get them up, uh, you know, a couple, two or three a week, you know, and, uh. Um, I, like I said, I don't, I don't do it for money, you know, and you know, there's no advertisements in my videos, you know, so it's, it's not about that. It's just, uh, just a hobby at this point, but, uh, I did want to make some action videos with the motorcycle, um, you know, going about 70 miles an hour. He was showing me, he'd made some videos on his jet ski with that GoPro and, uh, he said in study mode, I mean, it was astounding. It, uh, he said I was, he, you know, cause he was showing me, he says, I'm doing 70 miles an hour right now on my jet ski. And uh, look at the clarity. Come on, boo, let's get going. Uh, and he said, look at the clarity on this video. And uh, so I was uh, I was quite amazed. I was quite amazed. Uh, so maybe, you know, maybe we'll take this to the next level. I don't know where it's going. Uh, I just, uh, I started this because a friend of mine wanted to see my trip uh, to Lynchburg the first time, what, a year ago or so. I mean, it's... Uh, and uh and then of course i got this phone and i realized when study mode i mean it makes pretty good videos and uh probably not anywhere near what a gopro can do or professional equipment and you know you always see the the youtubers with those huge microphones <laughs> you know, I, mean, I, I don't know i'm looking at them uh, i mean but you know the sound quality from this phone's been pretty good uh, as long as you know i'm not too far away and then i i had the um the mic that i bought uh where you just have the um 
extension cable, but uh, we'll see. We'll see where things go at this point. All right, that's it. I, I swear that I, I will not. Uh, I'm, I'm getting tired of trying to pull him along. I just, I, I guess it's time to head home. I'm beat up from a bike ride yesterday. You guys peace out and stay free. Freedom, oh freedom.